Tasik Chini is a freshwater lake which formed naturally covering 69.22 hectares of lake and watershed in the Malaysia state of Pahang. It used to be home to a rich variety of fish and underwater plants and other flora and fauna. Research findings reveal that 50% of the species of fishes in the lake have vanished. The remaining species are on the brink of extinction and will be wiped out if nothing is done to sustain them. The lake has also been found to have poor water quality. It is also shrinking. This is caused by several factors such as logging and land clearing due to economical needs and development. But a group of scientists headed by Professor Dato Dr. Mushrifa Idris from the UKM Tasik Chini Research Center is trying to reverse the phenomenon. They are embarking on a bold project to resuscitate the lake. Using the lake itself as hatchery, the scientists are reintroducing depleting species back into the lake. Dan inilah kajian-kajian yang kita jalankan mendapat perhatian uh, ECRDC sebab dia pun tidak membolehkan kawasan ini dan 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 supaya apa yang dia implement tu menjadi. Ha, jadi dia akan referkan pada semua kajian yang kita dah jalankan selama 7 hingga 10 tahun yang kita jalankan kajian di sini. Dan apa yang di di uh, lakukan oleh ERCD adalah uh, sumber daripada uh, kajian yang telah jalankan oleh uh, Pusat Perniagaan Tasik Cini. In her presentation to the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research and Innovation Affairs, Professor Dr. Rahma Muhammad, during her visit to the Tasik Cini Research Center, Professor Mushrifa explained that the survival of the fishes is dependent on the water quality of the lake. The water in the lake relies heavily on the forest in its surrounding area or its watershed. The absence of tree of all kinds will affect the water quality. Whenever there is a heavy rainfall, the soil of the land will be washed into the lake. The scientists from the Tasik Chini Research Center has also started replanting trees in the watershed area. It is estimated as much as 11,000 trees will be replanted in deforested areas. In doing their conservation efforts, they also have to take into account the impact on the orang asli who live in the forest around the lake. The team of researchers has thus come up with a plan to include the orang asli in the conservation efforts. They will be the guardian of the area and simultaneously be the main attraction when developing ecotourism in the area. In short, the scientists and researchers of Tasik Chini Research Center do not just limit themselves to research and finding out problems facing the area but also providing solutions. Bila kita katakan kawasan tourism, kita dah pulihkan kawasan ini mengikut uh, SAVE. Okay? Di mana saintis ada, akademisyen ada, volunteer ada, pembelajaran ada. SAV, dalam sengkatan SAV kita ada. Jadi, bila kita dah hadirkan semua unsur-unsur ini, kita boleh uh, meningkatkan pelancongan. Dan secara tak langsung, kita boleh meningkatkan sosial ekonomi uh, penduduk di kawasan ini. Most important of all in undertaking conservation work, they also have got it spot on by taking up the interests of the orang asli there, who at times been neglected. When heritage and development collide, developments have always got the upper hand. But at least in Tasik Chini, heritage is making its mark.